Hello everybody, it's Boaz Feiler and I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for August 24th, 2016. So I hope you're hanging in there with this Mars-Saturn conjunction today in its height. And if you are, then tap yourself on the shoulder and on the back and congratulate yourself because it's a very intense time but from tomorrow onwards it's going to become less intense it's not that we were, we're not going to feel it anymore we are going to feel it for the next two weeks but it's going to get much less intense and we're over the peak and that's great and um, let's go back for to today today the moon is in taurus it's trining venus then sextiles chiron then trines uh, uh, jupiter then trines Mercury, a lot of beneficial aspects in the sky. But you, if you remember, we've talked about that even when we have a lot of beneficial aspects in the sky, it's still not a quiet day. It's not a tranquil day because it's like the whole band is playing full volume. We don't have a lot of tranquility. So trying to Venus, good for relationships, but hold that thought. Uh, sextile Chiron can get over painful places with the help of other people in our lives. Trine Jupiter, we become more optimistic, confident, and benevolent. And then trine Mercury, working with the two centers that we have, our logic, cerebral center, and our heart centered chakra, our feelings, together to take our life forward. And these are all very good things. And what am I aiming to Vista, the planet that's in charge of our dedication, that's in charge of the, our sacred work here on Earth, is going to be sextanning and trining the nodes for the next couple of weeks. And that would make us all much more focused. And that, in a sense, speeds up our course through life and makes us much more goal-oriented and we don't want to deal with the bull poop. We want to deal with what's important for us. And we're concentrating on that. And we're going on that runway. So are you ready for that flight? I am. <laughs> I'm frustrated by all these breaks and, and, and changes that we've been experiencing through the last few months. So I'm ready. I'm ready for some forward movement. And I hope you are too. And not so much frustration anymore and changes. One thing, you remember I told you to hold that thought regarding relationships. Venus is coming in to an opposition aspect to Chiron, Queen Kong, Sing, uh, Uranus. What does that mean? Venus, the planet of relationships and love, opposing uh, Chiron, the place that we feel hurt in, and Uranus, the place that we are individualistic, the place we are different than other people. So we could experience conflicts within our relationships because we are either caretaking too much of other people's needs and not of our own. We're not getting to take care of our own. We're just catering to other people and we're feeling like the boundaries are being blurred. So, and we could, we could be in pain because of that. So we have to watch that. And my advice to you is put the boundaries straight, exactly where they need to be. Don't let them digress too much and do it nicely and do it honestly and do it, uh, do it sensitively but immediately when you feel the, tr the transgression immediately put it in the, in the spot it needs to be don't let those uh, borders be blurred between you and others and between your needs and others and and don't give them up don't give them up just put them in the right place in your priority list so have a beautiful day and thank you for listening this is Boaz Feiler goodbye